you are not about to mow the lawn right now, bro. Come on, I'm in the zone here. All right, so today we're gonna be talking all about acne, fun topics. This is gonna be basically my comprehensive video of my history, what I've tried, what has worked, what hasn't worked, pretty much everything over the last seven to 10 years that has ultimately led me to the decision to go on Accutane. So when I'm filming this, it's October 11th, 2017. I start Accutane tomorrow. I've gone through the whole process, approval, everything. We'll talk more about that towards the end of the video. This isn't gonna be a video focused on Accutane because I'm gonna be having more of those coming, kind of documenting the process, my journey with it, and before and afters and all of that. I mostly just wanna have a video to really talk about everything because I get so many questions about what I'm doing for my skin, people telling me to go see a dermatologist, drink more water, you know, all of the lovely comments. I'm at the point where I've been on YouTube for six years now. I've heard pretty much everything in regards to my skin and I've found confidence in my skin over the years. I have a whole video on it if you're struggling with skin confidence. I'll link it in the eye over here and I'll put it down below too. But I'm at a place where I'm comfortable with my skin in the sense that I am confident enough to go outside with acne. It doesn't affect my self-confidence. I am very aware that there's acne on my face. I'm sure you guys experience it too on a certain degree in your lives from friends and family or just random people who sometimes feel the need to comment on your skin. I think even when you might want to say something or you're frustrated or you've heard the same thing 5,000 times, go high. Most people are just trying to help. They don't realize how many times you've probably heard the same thing or how you're feeling. So if you are that person on the other end and you don't have acne, just be aware that the friend or stranger or whoever it is who does have acne, it might not be your place to say something. If you do choose to say something, make sure it's in a constructive, kind way. Acne can be a serious, self-confidence kicker for some people. It can kind of be like a gateway to other kind of serious mental health issues like depression. So even though it might just seem like superficial or whatever to some people, it really affects certain people. So just be aware of that. Just be nice to people, I think is the moral of the story. So this video is gonna be very detailed, probably gonna be hell long. Get comfortable, chill, but here's how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna start out with my history, but then I'm gonna move into what I've tried and then wrap it up with now, which is going on Accutane. I wanna say a disclaimer, don't fast forward through this because I actually feel like it's important. This is my body, just like this is my body. Anything that you do with your body is your choice. By making these acne videos, I'm not encouraging that you go on Accutane. I'm simply sharing my experience in hopes that hopefully it helps someone out there, whether it's just realizing that acne is normal. I hope that you can still feel beautiful. I hope that it doesn't impact your life in a way that I know it does for a lot of people. You will get rid of acne at some point. Do your own research. Be proactive about trying to get rid of your acne with what works for your body. Everyone's bodies are so different. I've done so much research on skin and acne and diet and your gut and all this stuff over the years. Hormones. I mean, it's crazy. It really is true that while there are some obviously main things that you can do to try and get rid of your acne and that helps a bunch of people, it doesn't mean that it's gonna work for everyone. Accutane is a very serious drug with serious side effects. Accutane for me is a last resort. By making these videos, I'm not trying to promote it. I'm literally just sharing my experience. I know that when I was debating going on Accutane, YouTube was definitely one of the places I went to see other people's experiences and just learn about kind of what they're going through and if it worked for them so I hope that my videos throughout this whole six months help some of you guys do the same thing all right so let's get started this is gonna be an hour-long video I can already tell by the way clearly not wearing any face makeup right now so you can see what my skin looks like I have tons of videos showing you guys my skin so you can pretty much go back the past few years as long as I've been on YouTube and see what state my skin was in by the way I'm trying out a different lens today and it's like a much more wide angle so the camera's actually sitting on my table right now which feels really good. It feels like much more chill than having the monitor and the camera five million miles away. I probably won't film makeup videos like this, but for just like chatty ones, I kind of like it. Let me know what you guys think. You probably don't even notice the difference. Okay, so the history of my acne. So to get all of the facts straight for this, I talked to my parents. I looked back on previous videos. I looked back on all of the medications I took. I have notes here. So for those of you who don't know, I'm 25 years old. So I technically have adult cystic acne, but I've actually had acne since high school. So 2006 to 2010 is when I started getting 
acne. I would say it was more so just like whiteheads and zits here and there, kind of typical teenage acne. You are not about to mow the lawn right now, bro. Uh, come on, I'm in the zone here. So high school, I had usual hormonal teenage breakouts here and there, but it was to the point where my parents took me to the dermatologist, LOL at all the comments saying, go to a dermatologist. Bro, I've been going to a dermatologist since I was literally 13 years old. They did put me on an oral pill in high school. I was also using a topical gel. I tried different face washes, one's from the dermatologist, one's just from the drugstore, whatever. And that did help in high school. Kind of the theme of my acne over the last, I'm gonna say 10 years. I really have had cystic acne where it's intense, closer to five, which is still a very long time. But acne has been in and out of my life for 10 years and that's pretty much Kind of the recurring theme of my skin history is that it always friggin comes back if you look at my videos i've definitely had about six to eight month periods where my skin is clear when i was looking through the videos i wrote down in 2015 there was about a six month period where my skin was looking good like i still had scarring and stuff but i did not have cystic acne so there have been phases where my skin has been clear it just always comes back so anyways rewind graduated high school in 2010 freshman year of college my skin started to get worse. It wasn't horrible at that point. I didn't have like cystic acne, but my acne definitely started coming back. I wasn't making videos then. I started making videos sophomore year of college, so I don't have any videos to like document that time, but I did start getting some acne here and there. Sophomore year, it got worse. Junior year, so 2013, is when my skin got horrible. So that's when I was actually living abroad. I'm sure that has something to do with it, just being in a different environment, different food, different dairy. All of those factors obviously contribute to your skin. When I was doing research, I thought it was super interesting. 81% is actually genetic and only 19% is attributed to environmental factors like stress, diet, makeup, all that kind of stuff. So if acne runs in your family, you definitely have an increased propensity to develop acne. So I definitely got that from my mom. My mom had cystic acne in her 20s hello and she also actually went on accutane when she was 25 i believe maybe 24. so i want to say i've actually gone to at least four probably five different dermatologists over the years i think a super common misconception either if you see someone on the street or one of your friends have acne or whatever is that they're not doing anything they don't wash their face they haven't gone to a dermatologist and obviously i'm not speaking for everyone but most people, when you have acne, you kind of want to try things to get rid of it. You're not usually just chilling, not washing your face, enjoying your acne over here. I know for myself, over the years, I feel like I've tried pretty much everything, and that's what we're going to jump into next. So I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just sharing some of the things that I've read and I've learned over the years, but there are actually over 50 types of different acne. For a while, I thought mine was hormonal because of the placement. Typically, hormonal acne is like your chin down your neck. Usually, I don't get it on my forehead. I happen to have it on my forehead when I'm filming this video, but if you guys watch my videos, you know that typically my acne is down here and has been for the years. I actually got a blood test to test for other things having to do with other health issues, but hormone levels were one of the things that they tested for, and my hormone levels were completely fine. I don't have PCOS, my hormone levels have been tested, they're normal. One of the many wonders of life. I'm just gonna try and throw out everything I can think of that I've tried in the quickest way possible and kind of touch on a few of them. So there are obviously medications and then there are more natural remedies you can do. There are diet changes. There are, you know, workout, exercise, drink water. Workout, exercise are the same thing. If you're someone who has severe intense acne, you know that when you go to a dermatologist, there are definitely certain things that most of them try certain steps before Accutane, so I pretty much tried all of those. <laughs> birth control is a big one. I've been on multiple, probably five or six different birth control pills, more than that over the years. But I should say that while I was in Jordan living abroad, when my acne got really bad, I actually stopped birth control. So that probably also had something to do with it. I got back on it when I was here. I've been back on and off for years since. I'm currently on birth control and it clearly hasn't helped my skin, but for a lot of people, birth control is actually really effective. So I'm not gonna name every single medication that I've ever tried, but pretty much any of the antibiotics, doxycycline, monocycline, I might be butchering these names, birth control, Curology, which helped, but then it came back, Proactive also helped, but then it came back. I've actually been on Proactive twice, once in high school, once in college, senior year. 
yeah, that was senior year. Spironolactone, that one I had a reaction with my migraine medication. Tazerac cream, Differin, got blood tests, hormone levels checked, food allergy tests, and then some of the more natural stuff I've tried, witch hazel, tea tree oil, diet changes, probiotics. There's a lot of information on how your gut affects acne, so probiotics can help a lot of people clear their skin. I'm still on probiotics and I'm gonna keep taking them because they're just good in general for you. Different teas, green tea, different anti-inflammatory teas, African black soap, African clay mask, vitamin C serum. There are so many products you guys I've tried over the years. If you saw my bathroom right now and including all of the products like I've gotten rid of over the years, I've definitely tried over a hundred products specifically for my acne and there are definitely certain products that have helped and if you watch my past skincare routine videos or I have one like how I got rid of my acne video because my acne was gone like I said for a six month period and then it came back but there are definitely things that have helped my skin none of them have been a permanent fix. So the products I mentioned in the How I Cleared My Skin video, which I'll link down below, I still recommend those because it did help my skin. If I can think of one product that I feel like has made the biggest difference in my skin over the years is the Olay Henriksen Invigorating Night Treatment. It's in like the green bottle you can get at Sephora. It is pricey, but for me, like I'm willing to pay anything at this point. Having acne for so long, I basically have learned what my skin reacts better to. Like I know for a fact, cell silk acid typically works better than benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide doesn't do shit for me. I feel like it actually makes my skin worse sometimes. Makeup is tricky for me because clearly my job is not conventional. Most people, whether you have acne or not, are not testing out tons of products every single week. So I'm sure that hasn't helped my skin. Primer is one of the things that I found is like the biggest trigger for me. Certain primers 100% break out my skin horribly. Certain foundations break out my skin horribly. But I think the overall thing to note here is that even when I've gone weeks without wearing a single product on my face. If I am traveling, I usually don't wear foundation, especially in the last year is when I have really stopped wearing foundation to like go out to the grocery store. I used to always wear some kind of foundation or concealer or something to go out. I'll still put on like spot concealer down on my neck and stuff if I'm gonna be, you know, running to the grocery store or something, but I don't wear a full on foundation. So there's definitely been periods over the last year, especially where I've given my skin a major break and my skin is still bad. So I do think obviously certain products make my skin worse, but it's not like the sole cause of my acne. So it's just kind of like trial and error along with everything else. So I hope I kind of accurately depicted for you guys what I have tried over the years so you know I'm not just randomly deciding to go on Accutane. So again, just in case any of you didn't listen to the disclaimer at the beginning or fast forwarded through it uh, and you're now somehow like 20 minutes into the video, wherever we're at. I'm not encouraging Accutane. Accutane, again, is a very serious drug. I am just sharing why I am going on it. So today's October 11th. I had my dermatologist appointment this morning where I officially got 100% approved. I get the pills tomorrow and I start tomorrow. There's a whole process that you have to do before going on Accutane. But my kind of one word of advice at this point is that the only reason why I'm aware of some of the very serious side effects and permanent side effects from Accutane is because of the interweb, because of YouTube, because of you guys in the comments. My dermatologist, actually both dermatologists I've gone to about this, have kind of played it down, which if you're a dermatologist, if you're a doctor, I don't wanna you know, make this like blanket statement about all doctors, but sometimes they play stuff down a little bit and it's good to just have your own opinions and do your own research on stuff and just be aware of what could happen. I am aware of the serious side effects at this point and something that I'm willing to try, especially since my mom went on it and had such good results with it. She hasn't had acne since, but I'm just kind of going in with a positive mindset and hoping that I'm not one of those people that gets the very serious side effects. But I am gonna be documenting my entire Accutane journey. So I think I'm gonna kind of play it by ear and see how regularly I wanna do updates. I don't think it'll be a monthly thing. I'll probably do every two months, maybe every month if I'm seeing like big changes. But basically I'm on a six month, 60 milligram, dose, but I'm starting at 30 milligrams for the first month. She said that some people still get the purge phase, some people don't get the purge phase. Either way, my skin is probably gonna be super sensitive, very dry, peely, kind of the normal Accutane side effects. So like I said in a Foundation Friday a couple weeks ago where I talked about Accutane, I do have about seven weeks worth of Foundation Friday videos pre-recorded. So every single video that you guys are gonna be seeing through think like the third week in November is going to be a pre-recorded Foundation Friday video, not my other videos, just the Friday videos, just because I don't know what my skin is going to be like. I don't know if I'm going to want to put makeup on at all. Who knows? 
Is that everything? I feel like I'm forgetting a like major chunk of information I needed to share. <laughs> Oh, I know what I also wanted to say. I know a lot of you guys watch my foundation videos because of acne and trying to find ways to cover it and just foundations that work well with acne and texture and everything. And I'm definitely still gonna have scarring after I'm on Accutane. Obviously that's gonna be something that I try and fix. My ideal would be not having to wear a foundation or wearing like a very light foundation. I think as I've gotten older, especially in the last year, I've been really enjoying just feeling my face. So I'm excited. I you know, I'm going into this hoping for the best, but at the same time being prepared if my body reacts not in the best way to Accutane. But I just finally got to the point where I feel like I've tried a lot. I am in my mid twenties and I'm ready for this acne to be gone. I feel prepared mentally, physically, and I'm excited. And I'm excited that you guys are on this journey with me. Hopefully I'll be acne free in six months. So if you wanna follow along the Accutane journey, I'm gonna put this video in a playlist along with the other Accutane videos as I make them. I'm also gonna have my foundation videos linked down below, my other acne videos linked down below. Everything you need to know is always down below in the description box. Don't forget to join the Bayrito family and subscribe. The light just got really bright. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Turn on that little bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. It helps me out and I appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.